a solid rotation option like Diogo Jota, or the man who can break the Salah Mane axis. Just how good is Luis Diaz? <laughs> In terms of goal threat, Diaz's goals per 90 is almost double his XG per 90. This suggests that this is a player who scores when the odds are against him, a player who doesn't like to just go for easy goals and easy shooting options. He's spectacular in low block situations, particularly when he's driving inwards towards the box. And when it opens up, he's got a powerful finesse technique. He also has the ability to dink the keeper like a Luis Suarez. Here he slows up the play and shows composure inside the box. And we can see here he rounds the keeper. He's got no hesitation here with his weaker foot. So that's something to look out for. Once again on his weaker foot, no hesitation whatsoever. Statistically, Diaz is a player who's quite accurate with his passing. He holds on to possession quite well. His long passing is also a standout attribute. Again, generally very accurate with it. What the eye test tells us is, is that he's a player who does have vision. He doesn't hit many through balls, but when he does, it's special. If you look at this situation here, how on earth does he spot this pass when there's six players of the opposite team ahead of him, outside of the foot technique? Really, really special. In this situation here, yes, he doesn't quite execute it properly, but he's, he's able to spot his teammates. And at Liverpool, he'll have better runners and more options to pick from. Now his sort of long passing we're going to be looking at. He's very good at sort of switching the play. What I would say though is that his passing can be quite slow. So it's accurate. But he needs to add more zip. Needs to flatten out the technique a bit more. This is too loopy and it's easy to intercept. In terms of creativity, as we've touched upon, Diaz does not hit many through balls in terms of volume. But he does have high assist numbers so it means that when he does choose to play it more often than not it's going to result in a high quality chance the way he keeps his composure here and picks at his teammate is impressive again showcases his long passing again it's loopy but it's effective this time finds his teammate once again here he seems to get just as much pleasure from playing someone in than he does from scoring himself Contido. In terms of dribbling, Diaz is a high energy winger who likes to take the game to opponents and his dribbling success rate is seriously impressive. Important too because to play in a high possession side you need to be able to dribble and retain the ball at the same time. You can't be sort of a Marcus Rashford who runs into traffic and takes on very high risk dribbles with low chance of success. He's someone who has the ball sort of glued to his foot. In this situation here, yes, he's about to lose it, but he's able to sort of pull it back under control. Nice little touches, very precise player who uses the laces rather than five-star skills to wrong foot players. In terms of Diaz's crossing, he's showing world-class potential. He's got very, very high accurate cross numbers. He's someone who actually looks to spot a man inside the box rather than hit and hope. In terms of his technique, when he's coming inside, he's got a beautifully whipped technique towards the far post. But he can also go down the line and stick it at the far post with his weaker foot too. Diaz's heading is seriously impressive for a winger. He's someone who wins a large amount of aerial duels. He's someone who's targeted by his goalkeeper from goal kicks, which is rare to see in a winger I mean we saw that situation there here again goal kick wins the ball and plays in his teammate in terms of goal threat it could get better but he's definitely got potential he's someone who's absolutely fearless inside the box all he needs is a bit more precision but the bravery is definitely there once again no fear In terms of Diaz's movement, he can be quite lethargic, even though he's such a high energy player. And that's something I expect to improve when he joins Liverpool. 
He does drift inside when he's got no space, but here is more typical. He checks his run and gets himself out wide. This is another more typical Diaz move where he smells a goal scoring opportunity and he makes the run towards the far post. Defensively, Diaz is a player who wins a high amount of his defensive duels. He's someone who puts a lot of work rate in. And if we look at the footage here, he's dutiful, gets back. Here he spots the pressing triggers coming in and then curves his run here to force that pass back in that direction where most of his teammates are. Here he spots the pressing trigger but gets kind of wrong footed but nevertheless puts the yards in to get himself back and ends up intercepting the ball. So we can see that this is a picture of a player who fits in very nicely into Liverpool's sort of front foot philosophy in terms of winning the ball back high up the pitch. Someone who's aggressive. In terms of his one-on-one -on -one tackling, it's not the best. He can get wrong-footed quite easily, but I think that will improve under Klopp's tutelage. Tactically, what Diaz can bring to Liverpool is that ability to switch the player's speed. Mane and Salah have been immense as a pairing behind Firmino, but recently the relationship hasn't been at its best and Diaz will ensure that Salah gets the ball more often when he's making a run towards goal or he pulls out wide. Similarly, he's more likely to go down the line and deliver a ball rather than just go it alone, which means less running for Robertson on the overlap and more likely to find Salah who might pull towards the far post. Finally, Diaz's pressing numbers in the final third are insane. He's 88th percentile for ball recoveries, 98th percentile for tackles in the final third. So he's a hard-working player. He's 25 years of age. He's entering his prime. So he's an ideal fit for a pressing or a counter-press style of football and it means it's more of a throwback to Klopp's rock and roll football. In conclusion, Diaz is a player with a lot of potential. He seems to combine raw regression with an element of finesse, which is reminiscent of Luis Suarez or the severe version of Dani Alves. The only thing that's holding him back is he's not the most complete technical talent I've seen and he's already 25 He's a late developer, so it's it's tough to gauge just how good he can really become. But I have doubts that he can become a generational talent. I would dispute the fact that his top end level will exceed Sadio Mane's peak. But I do expect him to be a better player than Diogo Jota. Um, I think he's got enough raw tools to be able to do that. But it will take him some time to adapt to the English game. And I reckon it will take him about a year and a half before he becomes a fixture on that left flank for Liverpool. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, share and subscribe and see you guys again next time. Bye.